What is up, farming family? How y'all doing today? Today, we're going to discuss paddles and the specific builds of paddle. In one of my recent um, videos, there was a discussion about what was unibody and what wasn't, and it was just a big misunderstanding. We're going to go through now of what, you know, the specific types of paddles are and what is defined as unibody, in my opinion. And I have a picture from Hugh Def that describes what they think is unibody. So in the upcoming clips, you're going to see me show three different paddles with different, you know, foamed edges or some that are pure thermoformed, some are complete unibody. And you're going to see me trying to break them, but stay tuned. Here's a look at the three paddles that I'm going to be talking about. The first one I'm going to be talking about is Hugh Def's New Era EVA foam paddle. The face and the handle are two different materials. You can see the seam where the pieces come together, but the handle is thermoformed. There's no polypropylene showing at all. And there's also thermoforming from the handle all the way along the top of the head too. I'll try to put a picture in here to show you. I pulled back the edge guard to show you. That way there was actual video proof of it. This paddle is a cheap Amazon paddle. It has two pieces for the head and for the handle as well. It's not one piece. You can see the crease there. You can feel it too when you rub your finger across it. It's got polypropylene showing in this handle, which that is the most annoying thing ever. But this was a cheap paddle, so I expect it. I'm going to have a video after at the end of this or me discussing, you know, it as I try to break these paddles because I'm going to try to snap all three of these over my knee because all three of these are built specifically, you know, different. This one, the raw carbon fiber goes from the head all the way down to the handle in one piece. There's a line there that's drew on. It's one piece though. And it's also thermoformed from the head all the way down to the handle as, you know, as well. This is what I classify as a unibody paddle, a complete unibody paddle. It's thermoformed all the way down and one raw piece of carbon fiber from the paddle face to the handle. I decided to add in the Viva Pro. The face and the head are two different materials, but it is thermoformed from the handle all the way up to the head of the paddle. So we're going to see how this breaks. I'm going to show you right here three different views of it. The, you know, overhead view this side view, and then what the, you know, inside of the handle looks like. In my hand right now is the cheap Amazon paddle that's made of two pieces with polypropylene showing. Let's see how easy it is to snap. Yep. <laughs> Super easy. Like it snapped without hardly any force whatsoever on the first time, which was to be expected, to be honest. Up second, is Hugh Def's EVA New Era paddle. It's got thermoformed edges, but it's got two different materials making up the face and the head. And it doesn't want to break. <laughs> Even though it's two pieces, it doesn't want to break. But yeah, here is the pure unibody paddle. The bread and butter filth. As you can see, it doesn't break either. And right here I have the Viva Pro. I'm going to try to snap it. Yeah, and it, it's hurting my knee. <laughs> but as you can see, it eventually cracks. It just took eight or nine really hard knees. So it is still pretty sturdy. Okay, so what I got from this was that the regular paddles that are two pieces with the polypropylene showing that isn't thermoformed, are very easy to snap. You can do it literally with just one snap on your knee. What I did figure out though is the EVA foam paddles from Hugh Def that's made of two pieces that's thermoformed all the way around is slightly sturdier than the Hugh Def Viva that's thermoformed all the way around that has two pieces in the head. Now I'm wondering if the EVA foam made it, you know, more indestructible compared to the regular foam and thermoformed edges of the Viva Pro. But if you notice, it took a decent amount of time for me to get the, Diva, you know, the Viva Pro to even crack. So I don't think you're going to have any problems with paddles that have two pieces put together. If they're thermoformed and if they're foamed edged, 
I also know you're not going to have any problems with complete unibody design paddles like it wasn't cracking, snapping, or anything like that at all. So basically what I'm getting at, the only paddles that you are probably going to have problems with breaking are the paddles that come in two complete pieces that aren't unibody or that aren't thermoformed or foamed edge. If you get anything other than that, I feel like they're going to be durable enough for, you know, regular gameplay and you're not going to be stressing it. But I hope this video sort of helped what, you know, decide what a unibody was or show you, you know, how durable unibodies are or semi unibodies are, whatever you'd want to call the Viva Pro. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you did and, you know, you find this informative, please hit that like button. It'll push it to more people and it'll help get my channel out. And I really, really appreciate it. But until next time, stay safe. Have a good day. Drink plenty of water. Peace, y'all.